Now, Wave 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Amber Kulik with 31 Triple Doppler. You know, Amber, as much as I love snow because I'm from Ohio, I say that a million times, <laughs> I am glad that snow is up there and mm -hmm. not down here. Yep, Any chances of it, it coming? We may see some snow flurries what? late in the day on Tuesday. Yeah. I don't mind the flurries. Oh, yeah. I like the flurries because they're <laughs> nice to look at and then they're out of here. They're not so nice once they start piling yeah, up. Yeah, no. No. We don't have to worry about that, though. We have a lot to talk about, so let's go ahead and dive into this forecast this evening. Here's a look at our Way 31 Skycam Network and a gorgeous sunset. I had to make sure I said that right because I'm used to seeing sunrises, <laughs> but it is beautiful across the Tennessee Valley. If you're headed out to grab dinner, well, things are looking good. Current temperatures are on the cool side. We're in the 40s across the area, 44 right now in Huntsville and Athens is at 43. It's 46 degrees right now in Decatur, 48 out in Muscle Shoals. Now these temperatures, they're going to fall as we head into the overnight hours tonight. 32 for your overnight low in Huntsville. 31 in Decatur, 30 out in Moulton and Muscle Shoals as we head into the overnight hours. So as you head back to work or school tomorrow morning, you are going to need the winter gear once again. As we move through the day tomorrow, though, we do stay dry through most of Monday. Temperatures will warm into the 50s for our afternoon highs. But as we head into the evening and the overnight hours tomorrow, that's when we'll start to see changes in the forecast. Right now, though, 31 triple Doppler is quiet and dry. So again, if you're headed out to grab anything to eat over the next couple of hours, you're looking good. You don't have to grab the rain gear. If we take this view a little wider across the eastern half of the United States, we still have some snow falling in portions of Virginia and West Virginia, but we're quiet here. The clouds that we dealt with earlier in the day have cleared and we saw some sunshine this afternoon. But the big story is going to come in overnight tomorrow night. We have that 31 alert day in place for some wind gusts as high as 50 miles per hour. And this is in effect from 6 p.m. Monday night into 6 a.m. on Tuesday for all of North Alabama. So I do want to show you what we're looking at. So our next storm system right now is out in the Four Corners region, bringing some snow. But watch what happens as we head into tomorrow. This is 630 tomorrow morning, and our storm system is starting to develop and bring some showers and thunderstorms to portions of the plains by 3 p.m. tomorrow, making its way into the south. Now, the worst part of the system with the severe weather will stay to our south, but we will get the very gusty winds and some very heavy rainfall during the overnight hours. And as you're getting ready to head off to work on Tuesday morning, it looks like we will still be dealing with some very heavy rain and winds will still be gusty at this time as well. So you may need to leave a few extra minutes early so you can have that extra travel time to get to your destination. By noon, though, the rain is out of here, but we may get some moisture wrapping around that area of low pressure late in the day on Tuesday that could bring us some snow showers to the Tennessee Valley. No accumulation is expected though, but again, nice to look at while it's around. Now, like I said before, the severe weather threat will stay to our south as we head through the day tomorrow. We do have a level three along the Gulf Coast, so have any family or friends down there, check on them before tomorrow gets here. Now, this is what we're looking at wind wise. We could see wind gusts as high as 50 miles per hour during the overnight hours. This is at 6 a.m. on Tuesday morning, still looking at some very breezy conditions, and that continues through the day on on Tuesday as well. So any loose objects that you have outside, now's the time to tie them down and watch out for your garbage can as well. We have that wind advisory that goes into effect at 3 p.m. tomorrow. Here's what we're looking at across the next 10 days. So tomorrow's system's not the only system we're watching. We have another one that will move in at the end of the week, and then all eyes turn to the start of next week. 35 for your high next Monday. So we are looking at some very cold weather, and we'll have to watch that precipitation for the chance of snow. You know, it's hard to complain about the weather here when you see what's happening up there, you know? So. I know. Yeah, I'm not complaining at all. I'll take what we can get. <laughs> Amen to that, sister. <laughs> Thanks, Amber. Athens